Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again this week for another video. For those of you who don't know, my name is Karina and I'm also known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube. I do have some other social media links down in the video description if you want to go ahead and check that out. And the link to my Etsy shop will be at the end of the video in the end card if you're interested in that as well. Uh, this week I'm back to using uh, Procreate with my iPad. It's just a standard iPad. Uh, the newest one, I believe, I think it's the sixth generation. I don't know what it is. Um, and the older type Apple Pencil. Uh, I don't have the Pro or the new Pencil, which is totally fine because this works um, exactly how I need it to work. Um, this is not a review for the iPad, so let's get into the video. This week we are doing a um, collaboration with the Art Addicts Alliance, and uh, the theme for this month is uh, endangered species. So with that, I really thought hard about what I wanted to do, and I'll have to tell you, and I'll, I want to be completely honest here, I almost didn't do this collaboration this this month's theme I was looking for um, a picture of an endangered species and I kind of had myself worked up because there are a lot of pictures a lot of pictures coming up of I'm gonna say it if you don't want to hear this you're gonna have to mute me now because it's gonna get a little bit verbally graphic I guess um, there were a lot of pictures of abused animals and you know hunters going out and and getting this animal and that animal and I, I really don't have to go into detail I guess because if you're an adult you kind of know what I'm getting at uh, I don't know if the younger generation is kind of um, I guess uh, exposed to that kind of thing but there were a lot of really gruesome pictures and I could have sat down and cried I, I honestly I have more uh, sympathy and empathy towards animals than I do people and I know that could be a horrible thing to say but it is very true and um, I, I was so close to not doing it and my fiance was like well why are you going on Pinterest looking for these pictures why don't you just go to a site and um, you know like a uh, the, the WWF site or whatnot and, and get a picture from there and I'm like well I could do that but what if they don't give me all the lists of what I'm looking for so in the end I should have gone there first so I hope that the other artists involved with this kind of didn't do what I did because I saw some really bad things that I wish I hadn't seen and I will never unsee again um, a little bit traumatized to be honest um, it was not cool anyway this is not supposed to be a negative video but you know just w for warning if you're gonna go out there looking for endangered species be careful what you're searching for because you're gonna find things that you don't even probably don't even know exists on the internet yeah that okay we're gonna step away from that anyway I went to the WWF site World Wildlife Federation Foundation um, it's not right in front of me right now um, and I, I went to their endangered species section and they had a drop down list and I went through them all and I was like yeah I'll do this I'll do that and then the gorilla popped up so basically I thought about doing the gorilla and and I thought to myself well I did a sketch of a girl of a gorilla when I was doing the sketchbook slam and uh, when I, I attempted to do the sketchbook slam I should add uh, it didn't happen it, it didn't it didn't work well um, but um, doing that or doing as much of it as what I did, I did have this gorilla already drawn uh, in my sketchbook. And it kind of compared the sketch to what the um, the lowland, eastern lowland gorilla, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the eastern lowland gorilla. And I kind of compared and I'm like, you know, I can get away with using the sketch. So I imported it into Procreate and I did the outline and everything, um, as you saw at the beginning of the video. And I kind of went from there and I was um, initially going to do um, six endangered species animals and put them all in a sticker pack um, but time just wouldn't allow for it um, because I'm going to be going out of town tomorrow I'm actually recording this voiceover on the 13th um, so I'm going to be going out of town tomorrow on the 14th and the 15th to do some pre-wedding shopping and uh, all that fun stuff over on the vlog channel if you want more information about that um, so I didn't really have enough time to do them all so I did pick this one and I've really like how it turned out I got to use a few different brushes that I've never used before in procreate and um, I really did try to get away from having my reflection in the screen here it doesn't work um, there's one section here where I did try to record during the day and I had to stop because there was just way too much reflection and I had to wait until you know the Sun went down to finish the picture so that's what I had to do um, but either which way this is the um, Eastern lowland gorilla and then before I talk about um, the 
Art Addicts Alliance. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the gorilla. And I'm getting this from the uh, World Wildlife... I don't know if it's World Wildlife Federation. It doesn't tell me. I'm looking at it. But it says WWF. So it's www.worldwildlife.org if you want to go in and check it out. But the um, eastern lowland gorilla is the largest of the four gorilla species. Uh, the population of the species is unknown. Uh, it's usually anywhere from four to five and a half feet tall um, st- when it's standing on its two, uh, two back legs. Um, and they can weigh up to 440 pounds so that's pretty pretty big um they usually are found in the democratic republic of congo um yeah and uh they uh they've taken their toll on both the eastern uh okay so it's basically saying i didn't read this beforehand it's basically saying that uh destruction of their um, habitat is what's causing their decrease um so the other thing that it says here is um Let's see. They eat fruit. Despite the size, eastern lowland gorillas um, mainly eat fruit and other herbaceous, uh, I'm probably like butchering these words, materials uh, just like other gorilla subspecies. So they like to eat a lot of um, their herbivores pretty much, they like fruit and stuff like that. So um, if you want to know any more about that, you can go over to the World Wildlife Org. I don't want to sit here and read you facts that you can go over and read yourself. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's it's sad to know that um, we're the cause of their habitat. Not us in general, but like humanity is the reason why a lot of these um, a lot of these species are becoming endangered is because the habitats are getting taken over or you know poaching and and things like that. So it's really sad. But again, I don't want to make this a negative video as much as like just even thinking about all of this is like really making me angry and um, I just don't want to talk about it anymore but this is the this is the endangered species that I chose to do the illustration of I don't understand I don't understand how or why someone would want to kill a creature like this it is beyond my understanding of of people i i just i don't get it if you want to leave your comments down below on the whole topic um let's just try to keep it nice no harassing and no bullying um because i know this topic can trigger a lot of different emotions but if you would like to say something about it you can do so down in the description or the comment section of the video um so uh after that gotta clear my throat <clears throat> excuse me i'm not cutting that out i don't have time um, if you want to know more about the art addicts alliance um you can go over to our facebook page there will be a link down in the description below um we are currently looking for new members so if you're interested in joining the art addicts alliance where we post a themed video on the third week of every month or the third friday of every month uh so the next one will be going up on good friday uh, we're still going to post even though it's a long weekend and it's a holiday we're still going to post on that day um and if you want to apply to join the group you can definitely check out the information for that over on the facebook page currently we have um i'm pretty sure we have nine people um so we are we there's a lot of space open to um to get a few more people in there so if you're interested definitely check us out um we kind of have a mutual agreement where we all vote whether or not to have someone come into the group um so you need to provide your um youtube channel and whatnot but anyway all the information is over there and um the links to the other artists that are currently in the group right now are all listed down below in the uh, description of the video as well and you can click on their links and go to their channels and watch their videos i know sometimes there is a slight delay in posting like i always post mine um, on the day of um but there are a couple people that may need an extra day or so before they can post so if you don't see it today when you're watching my video um just double back and, and check again in a day or so just to see if they've uploaded and i'm sure the content of the videos um will be great and they'll be pretty entertaining and uh, you'll find them enjoyable so don't forget to check on that um we are coming close to the end of the video <clears throat> excuse me and i'm realizing that i'm starting to lose my voice um i've just isn't that great i'm getting ready to go away on a little mini mini trip and i end up losing my voice i hope i'm not getting sick 
But um, other than that, I just wanted to talk about um, Patreon a little bit. Um, I was going to make, like I said, a sticker pack of these animals and or the endangered species and make them a sticker pack that you can get on my Etsy store. Um, but I've decided that um, because I'm trying to get my Patreon up and going, there's a, a tier over there where you can get um, a sticker pack sent to you every month, um, plus a whole bunch of other, you know, different um, goodies for that tier. Um, but to to be sent to you, you get a sticker pack and um, and a little goodie that I'm not gonna. It'll be like a surprise type thing. Uh, and but for the month of March, I guess um, I've decided that if anyone pledges for that tier, that I will send them along with the sticker pack and the little surprise goodie that um, I would put in a sticker of the gorilla as well. So if anyone's interested in supporting me on Patreon um, and you want to get um, a sticker of this guy, it's not gonna be like a little mini sticker. It'll probably be like four inch. Four inch sticker or so so if you're interested in that definitely go over and check that out there's also a link down in the description for the patreon so um yeah please consider doing that uh, it's getting pretty close to the end of the video here uh like and subscribe if you like the video and go ahead and check out those other artists and uh, show them some love as well and let me know what you thought of the video i know the last video got a lot of uh, great um great comments and i really appreciate that people enjoyed it and liked the way that i that I did um, the top down view and everything so I really appreciate the the good comments on that and that you guys enjoyed the video so that's pretty cool um, it's nice to know when you've done something that other people can actually sit down and enjoy so that was really nice to hear all your feedback from that so but I hope you guys are having a great week enjoy the weekend that's coming up and I'm hoping that I'll see you guys again on Tuesday for another uh, studio vlog so until then um, I guess I'll see you in the next video.